This contest is to be fought over six three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout decides the winner. Over to you, sir. Seconds away, round one. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you. And here at the Sport and Recreation Centre in Burnley, up here in Lancashire, we have a special team event for you this afternoon. And the first bout, single bout in that team event, is Alan Kilby, I'm sure you'll recognise in his usual white gear and white boots, versus Black Jack Mulligan from Newcastle. Kilby, of course, from Sheffield. And a very popular boy, as you can hear, this packed capacity crowd here at Burnley clapping every time he does anything good. And here's another one. And to break that for Nelson. And another round of applause from the, the, the spectators here. Re referee Dave Reese there in the left of your picture. And a backhammer attempt by Mulligan which doesn't get really far against uh, a man like Philby. Look at that spin out. Beautiful time. So this is a six, like all the solo box here this afternoon, the, this is a six, three minute round contest. Two falls to decide it. And the team, the Jets, are taking on the battlers. The Jets consisting of Kilby, Tom Tyrone, Pat Patton, and Steve Logan, taking on the battlers. More about them later. Well, well we saw a close-up there of uh, Kilby. Just looking at his opponent, he's... Blackjack Mulligan was beckoning him towards him. I don't think he was wise. Just a minute to go in the first round of six. That's a good attack there by Mulligan. Nice arm lock there, but with the joint. Still got it. Come on again. Come on, Oscar. gonna hold this arm lock as long as he can. And he can. But he's only got just about ten seconds. Come on, Alan. Get rid of that arm lock, all right. There's just a couple of seconds left. So let's have a look at uh, Al Kilby, this uh, heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain, remember? One of the most popular wrestlers in the country today, the British heavy middleweight champion. Completely deaf, of course, and has great trouble speaking through that deafness. But very popular man indeed. Seconds away, round two. Here we go for round two. The Jets team versus the Battlers, the Ring Battlers. Round two, five to go, and no score in this first single event. Team event, Alan Kilby versus Jack Mulligan. Kilby from Sheffield, Mulligan, Newcastle. And it's Kilby in his white gear with white boots. And of course, the Jets running right across his uh, front. But Mulligan doing well at the end of the first round and the beginning of the second. Dave Reese separating that.
Spencer, drawing his way to try the headbutt to his stomach against Kirby. Very, very strong physical culture is this man. Single leg Boston, Mulligan, good chance now. First chance he's had really for a fall. Going for the figure four leg lock, got it. That's the second time in this part. He's trying. Uh, uh. Uh, all that effect that has had is to make Kirby mad at him. So up comes the forearm uppercut. Right arm, right down over the face. Especially the left arm. Nice mule kick. And a stomach throw over the top. Some lateral suplex following throw over the cross press. Must have him. Must have him. Your master of ceremonies. Thank Brian you. Pepe. In two minutes, five seconds of round two. First ball of the contest goes to the Jets. Alan Kilby. So Kilby gets the first pinfall in just over two minutes of round two, and the crowd still right behind him shouting, easy, but any second now we go ahead with the third. Second play, round three. Four to go, and Kilby in the white gear on the left, leading Blackjack Mulligan in Newcastle, one fall in hell. And Dave Reese, the referee, watching Mulligan very carefully after one or two. Ah, there's another one. He can't stop Mulligan. He gets a public warning for that. Jack going Mulligan. straight with a waist hold. Attempted bear hug here. And a punch again. Mulligan trying everything now. He knows he's up against her. And a second public warning immediately. Two public warnings in one round. Public warning. Surely Mulligan will learn Jack Mulligan. Hey. It's a nice trotch hole and slam there. Now can he follow this one up? Without getting any more public warnings. It's a bit late. Reese warns him. Next time to the dressing room, we've got two against you. The uninitiated, of course, the second public warning is the final public warning. Next time means disqualification. That's a punch. But the referee didn't spot it. Blind side. Cannot blame the referee. He cannot be everywhere. Forearm, okay. And a switch. Very neat switch. And a real kick again right across the guts there. Right. Oh, and a headbutt to the head. It's just about reached. Four on uppercut. And Kirby really taking over now. Another one. It's already leading by one fall, remember. And another. Mulligan in real trouble now. Very much weakened. He's got a minute to go in this third round. And he probably wishes there wasn't that much. Again, the beautiful stomach suplex there. The follow-up first press, and this must be it for 2 0 win to Alan Kilby in just two minutes, 20 seconds of round three. Kilby the winner, two falls to nil over Mulligan. So the Jets lead by one to nil after the first part. In two minutes, 20 seconds of round three, the winner. By two falls to nil, Alan Kilby! Alan Kilby! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for the loser, Black Jab Mulligan.